Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a script that will save a command to a button. So you can use any of the commands built into After Effects and essentially when we click on it, it's going to allow us to type which command we'd like to save to this button. For simple purposes, we could say I want to use the copy command and click on OK. And then it changes the state of our button to let us know we've added the command. So we can now click on the button to initialize it and then we can clear the button to reset it and add another command like paste. And now when I run paste, I can then paste whatever my command just did. So I was copying the layer and now I'm able to paste it many times. And basically this free to download script is gonna allow you to use any of the menus and any of the commands that are accessible using the execute command method. So anything you can type in, it's gonna let you know whether it's a valid thing or not, and then allow you to save it to the button. Before we get started, just wanna remind you down below, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when new videos are coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download this code for free. Today's more of a giveaway slash going over some cool code rather than coding everything from scratch. So down there, you can download the code for this and test it out yourself. And down in the description, you can also follow us on Instagram to get live updates for cool things. And of course, be sure to join the Discord to have discussions on scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. So let's just go over how this script works. It's basically a very, very simple script, and all it's doing is using an input, uh, one of these prompts here, and it's taking the text input the user gives it, which you could theoretically just use an edit text or something as well. It's taking that input, and it's gonna check whether or not it's a valid menu command. If you click on the little I button, you can check out the previous video I made on how to get and use command IDs, but just for a quick review slash recap, any of these commands you see in the menu are accessible uh, by calling the execute command. So as I showed in the beginning, you can use edit copy and edit paste. And all you have to do is type in the actual name of the command, for example, duplicate, split layer, or something else. And it's going to tell you whether or not it's a valid command that you can run. So we have our simple UI, which just has a button called button one and a clear button, which will be the purpose of clearing our button from whatever command we save to it. And we're also gonna have a global variable called command int, which is gonna store the actual menu command integer that we need to execute the command. So whenever you call find menu command ID, it's gonna give you that. So what we do is we first ask the user, type the command you want to try here. And the first thing we wanna also check is whether the button one text is equal to one. The way we have it set up is to have two states for our button. If the text on it says one, we need to basically insert a command and nothing is assigned to it yet. But if we click on it, it's going to prompt us to do this. You can see we have, if our text is equal to one, we want to prompt the user to type the command they want to try. And we could try maybe say copy, but if I spell it wrong, and hit OK, it's gonna say not valid. So what we've done is we've put in a test. We've said if the input they give is null or is nothing, then we want to go ahead and do nothing. And we also wanna check if it's not a valid menu command. So if copy and all those characters I accidentally typed in is not a valid After Effects command, which it's not, it's gonna say not valid. So if you call find menu command ID with whatever text they type in and it returns zero, that means there's no command for it available. But in the else case that something is valid, say for example, we get copy or paste, which I believe in this version of After Effects, the numbers are 19 and 20, it's gonna store that into our global command integer. And then we're gonna change the button state to say plus. And this basically just means now you're able to add whatever the command that you saved to it is. So in this case, now we have copy saved. So I can select my layer or maybe in this case, my effects and say copy. And now if I was to go to a different layer and hit paste, I can paste those copied effects. And then the very last thing to do once we've essentially figured out what the command is and if it's valid and what the number is, we're going to execute the command with that number. So we have our global command integer to represent copy, paste, or whatever the hundreds of menus commands are. And then we're going to execute that command, which just means run it as if the user had clicked on whatever the menu is. And then lastly, we have a simple clear button, which is just gonna simply reset the command integer to be zero, which means it's not a real command, nothing's selected essentially. And then we're also gonna reset the button one text to one to let the user have a visual representation that it's back to normal. And that's gonna do it for this week's quick tip tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe down below and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download this free useful script, expand on it, and 
experiment around with it if you'd like. Down in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for live updates on things. And you can also join the Discord for help with extensions, plugins, scripting, expressions, and much more. Help out the community and get your questions answered. But that's going to do it again for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time.